A recent find of 86,000-year-old human bones from a cave in Southeast Asia suggests that attempts to leave Africa were unsuccessful. According to the study, the new data indicates that before the last successful expansion, modern humans made several attempts to grow. However, if this was an unsuccessful out-of-Africa attempt, how is it possible that modern humans arrived in a very remote cave located high on a mountain in Southeast Asia? This appears to be yet another effort to maintain a theory that is becoming more and more implausible. In fact, compared to Eurasia, Africa has a weaker paleontological foundation for the theory of human evolution. Afro-Eurasia is the name given by some geographers to the supercontinent that includes Eurasia and Africa, just like North and South America are frequently regarded as one continent because they are separated by a narrow man-made canal. Therefore, what has been recently referred to as African multi-regionalism is actually Afro-Eurasian multi-regionalism. Because of the cave's location, it would have taken many generations and numerous intermediate stops for humans to travel there from Africa. This is equivalent to asserting that the first European attempts to colonize the Americas were unsuccessful based on data from a site in Colorado. Unlike Jamestown, which was on the coast and a prominent landing place for explorers, this location is incredibly far from the ocean and significant rivers. According to a study, bone fragments discovered in a La Russian cave offer fresh evidence of early, unsuccessful human expansions out of Africa. Modern humans were present in this area at least 80,000 years ago, according to additional evidence from China, India, Malaysia, and Indonesia, which also include stone tools and human teeth. Because it occurred before the Toba volcanic eruption 74,000 years ago, this is significant. The peer-reviewed study looked into bone fragments discovered in a remote cave in the mountains of northern Laos. The cave's name translates to Cave of the Monkeys, and it has been searched for signs of ancient humans in the past. Both an early dispersal model, in which humans left Africa between 130,000 and 80,000 years ago, and a later dispersal, which took place after this time, are traditional hypotheses for human expansion out of Africa. The second theory, which postulated a quick exodus from Africa between 60,000 and 50,000 years ago, and the division of that population into two groups that traveled to Europe and South Asia, was strongly supported by genomic evidence. Despite some genetic evidence of earlier dispersal in modern Australasian populations, which makes up less than 1% of their genetic makeup, this is not thought to be particularly significant. The bone fragments in the La Russian cave were between 92,000 and 65,000 years old, according to the researchers. The researchers view this as a conservative estimate. The investigation also uncovered signs of roughly 56,000 years of human activity at the site. Between 86,000 and 44,000 years ago, the site saw most of its activity, and the fossil record provided clear proof that about 70,000 years ago, there may have been an unsuccessful attempt to disperse from Africa. The evidence also demonstrated that the fossils were not the product of local evolution from or admixture with Homo erectus or Denisovians but rather were from human immigrant populations. This along with more recent findings of other Homo species in Laos, and the neighboring nations demonstrate that Homo species diversity was high in Southeast Asia. This contradicts earlier theories that only considered successful expansions, genetic studies would not provide evidence of unsuccessful human expansions, because those expansions did not succeed in passing on their genes. The idea that Homo sapiens arrived in South Asia from Africa seemed all too plausible until a few doubts entered my mind. In reality, debates over whether modern humans originated in Africa have been sparked by peer-reviewed articles in the fields of paleoanthropology and archaeology. And as we all know, peer-reviewed research eliminates any possibility of bias or error in any way. Last month, two studies published in Science magazine, after five months of peer review, identified the wild animal trade at the Wuhan wet market as ground zero. The models in use suggest that the dispersals of modern humans were mainly driven by lithic assemblages, a small number of fossil remains, and genetics. According to the most popular theory, modern humans left Africa approximately 120,000 years ago, and only started colonizing the rest of the world 40,000 years ago. For the researchers, the absence of fossil remains from the significant sites along the distribution path raised a red flag. The fossilized remains found in the caves of Apodima in Greece and Mycelia in Israel, however, 
suggest that modern human presence outside of Africa dates back more than 210,000 years, according to recent studies. However, these findings do not establish that the spread to South Asia began earlier than 120,000 years ago. The Middle Paleolithic technologies were present in India and the rest of South Asia, until between 120,000 and 70,000 years ago, when modern people who migrated from Africa are thought to have done so. This conclusion was reached as a result of a very intriguing finding in the 74,000-year-old Toba Tuff deposits of Central India. What's more, scientists revealed that a jawbone with teeth found in Mount Carmel's Mislia cave, and dating to between 177,000 and 194,000 years ago proves Homo sapiens, were present in the Levant at least 50,000 years earlier than previously thought. The school and Kafzeh caves in Israel contain the earliest modern human remains discovered outside of Africa, and their age has been estimated to be between 90,000 and 120,000 years. This discovery fundamentally alters how we think about the history of modern human evolution and the dispersal of modern humans. The fossilized jawbone was subjected to various dating methods by the researchers, who came to the conclusion that it was at least 170,000 years old. The team also used micro-CT scans and 3D virtual models to analyze the remains, and compare them to other hominin fossils found in various regions of Africa, Europe, and Asia. Based on fossils discovered in Ethiopia, anthropologists have generally agreed that modern humans first appeared in Africa between 160,000 and 200,000 years ago, evolved there, and began migrating outside of the continent around 100,000 years ago. However, if the Mislia fossil dates to between 170,000 and 190,000 years ago, the entire story of Homo sapiens evolution must be advanced by between 100,000 and 200,000 years. For example, if modern humans left Africa about 200,000 years ago, it follows that they must have evolved there between 300,000 and 500,000 years ago, according to researchers. However, there isn't any concrete proof of the origins of these humans. Additionally, researchers discovered modern human teeth in China that were between 80,000 and 100,000 years old. This indicated that their migration had taken place earlier than previously believed, but we were unable to explain it until our discovery at Mislia. The discovery of the earliest modern human in Mislia, evidence of genetic admixture between Neanderthals and humans, and the existence of modern humans in China are now all pieces of the puzzle. Both modern humans and Neanderthals lived in the Middle East at different points during the history of hominin migrations. The finding suggests that genetic admixture or demographic replacement with local populations occurred earlier than previously believed. The Mislia fossil has anatomical details that are entirely consistent with modern humans, but it also has characteristics that are similar to those of Neanderthals and other extinct human groups. This implies that even though our species originated in Africa, some of our characteristics must have evolved or were acquired outside of Africa. The people who lived in Mislia Cave were actually fairly advanced at the time and skilled hunters of large game animals like our rocks, Persian fallow deer, and gazelles. They utilized sophisticated, inventive methods similar to those used by the earliest modern humans in Africa, including routinely using fire, making extensive use of plants, and producing an early Middle Paleolithic stone toolkit. The Mislia fossils association with such advanced technologies in the Levant raises the possibility that Homo sapiens arrival in the area is responsible for their emergence. But according to yet another article, a Greek skull also demonstrated that modern humans failed in early attempts to migrate out of Africa. The secrets of ancient humans are emerging from a prehistoric, broken skull, revealing that early modern humans left Africa much earlier than previously believed. According to the researchers, the skull is the oldest modern human bone ever discovered outside of Africa. It was discovered in Eurasia and dates back 210,000 years. A 170,000-year-old, possibly Neanderthal skull was discovered resting next to this one in a cave in southern Greece. This skull, however, had an unusual neighbor. It appears that this particular human's early attempt to leave Africa failed because the Neanderthal skull is more than 40,000 years younger than the modern human skull. This mysterious human's lineage is extinct today, and Neanderthals, who later inhabited the same cave, replaced this person's people. 
All of the humans living today outside of Africa can be identified by their genetic makeup, as having descended from the major exodus from Africa that took place between 70,000 and 50,000 years ago. A 194,000 to 177,000 year old modern human jaw found in Israel's Mislia cave and others linked to 130,000 to 90,000 year old early human fossils found in the Skul and Kafseh caves, are two examples of earlier modern human dispersals out of Africa that have been documented. However, we think that these early migrants did not actually contribute to modern humans living outside of Africa today, but rather died out and were probably locally replaced by Neanderthals, the researchers wrote. We speculate that the Apodima population is experiencing a similar situation. This modern human skull, which dates to about 210,000 years ago, is the oldest one ever discovered in Eurasia. The researchers claimed that there were several indicators that Apodima I was an early modern human, or Homo sapiens, including the rounded back of the skull, a characteristic unique to modern humans. The Neanderthal skull's age of 170,000 years is comparable to other Neanderthal remains discovered in other regions of Europe. The researchers discovered that the modern human skull was an unexpected outlier, dating back more than 150,000 years earlier than the next oldest Homo sapiens remains in Europe. Supporters of Out of Africa argue that despite the skull's designation as the oldest known modern human fossil in Eurasia, the new discovery does not fundamentally alter our understanding of how humans evolved. These fundamentals state that humans first appeared in Africa before spreading to other parts of the globe. The oldest human fossils, which are approximately 100,000 years older than the Apodima fossil, are still from Africa. According to researchers, that is roughly 4,000 generations, ample opportunity to move around. The study may support the claims made for numerous, early dispersals, however, if we want to ask questions specifically about the early history of our species in Eurasia. Additionally, this discovery supports the idea that the early Homo sapiens population was dispersed and fragmented, according to the researchers. The dates from this study roughly agree with previous studies that hypothesized Homo sapiens left Africa every time the Saharan and Arabian deserts shrank, which happened generally on 100,000-year cycles. Furthermore, we can no longer assume that the Vmusterian, Stone tool assemblages discovered across vast regions of Eurasia were produced by Neanderthals if modern humans really did arrive, thereby at least 210,000 years ago.